over the course of my life, I've come to realize that in order to get things done, there are some things I've got to get over. And that's the problem with many of you is that you're not over the relationship gone bad. You're not over the job that you lost. You're not over the person that walked out on you, the people and the places where you've experienced trauma and anguish. You're not over it. You're not over the fear. You're not over the anxiety. You don't smile anymore. You don't laugh anymore. You don't love like you used to. And there are some things you're going to have to get over. You have not been able to get it done because you're carrying so much weight from the past. You don't feel like it. But newsflash, stop waiting to feel it. At the end of the day, you can listen to a million motivational speeches, but you are going to have to wake up and make a decision to get it done. The moment you are no longer willing to tolerate where you are, everything changes. Nobody's going to be able to pull you out of the murky water, out of this muddy, bloody, painful, miserable place that you're in. You're going to have to make up your mind. Enough is enough. I'm getting out of this place. And I got stuff to do. I've got a destiny to fulfill. Are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to let go of some things? Are you willing to put the work in? Are you ready to be consistent? Are you tired of this version of yourself? Get over the pain. Get over the trauma. Get over the betrayal. Get over who left you. Get over who lied on you. Get over it. If you're going to get it done, you've got to get over it. Release the pain. Release the unforgiveness. Release the fear. If you're going to get it done, you're going to have to eliminate all distractions and put your blinders on. I don't know what your goal is. Let the world reject you. Let the world close doors on you. Let the world tell you no. I'm just wondering, can you dig deep inside yourself? The future goes to the hardest worker in the room. You have everything you need to get started. Stop waiting for the weather to change in your life. Stop waiting for the perfect conditions. Stop waiting for a handout. Stop waiting for everybody to believe in you and cheer for you and affirm you. Life knocked you in the mouth years ago and you haven't hit back yet. You hit back with determination. You hit back with focus. You hit back when you listen. You hit back when you are disciplined. You hit back with resilience. Get in the ring and hit back. It's time to get up and hit back. Stand in a mirror and tell yourself, I've got a destiny to fulfill. It's simple, but it's not easy. But all you have is all you need. It's the start that stops most people. Start now. You may be average, you may be ordinary, but you have the opportunity every single day to make extraordinary decisions. And what you do today will determine your future. The future is very expensive. The currency to get to the future, the bridge that we build, it is built on your daily decisions, your habits, your programming, the way that you think, the way that you talk, the way that you walk, blood, sweat, tears, sacrifice, people that you have to let go, sleep that you have to lose, multiple jobs that you have to work, hours on end of study, beating on your craft every single day. It's not easy, but it's worth it. There are going to be nights you're going to cry yourself to sleep. There are going to be times you're going to want to throw in the towel. But if you keep going, 
Your future self will thank you. If you could hear your future self talking to you now, the future you would say thank you for not giving up. Thank you for not throwing in the towel. Thank you for not allowing the despair and the anguish and the anger and the bitterness and the jealousy and the ego to eat away at your progress and your perseverance and your ability to travail and endure. I believe in the future, number one, you got to get crystal clear about who you believe you've been destined to be. Because everybody's looking to manifest. We are all looking to evolve. We are all looking to level up. What is your life's purpose? What is your destiny? Why on earth are you here? What is it that you can do today to get closer to the fulfillment of that future? To get closer to the manifestation of the future? What are you doing today? What are you giving today? Remember why you had to let some people go. Remember why you're working so hard towards this thing. You're pressing, you're pushing, you're clawing, you're dragging yourself through mud and through murky water. Come on, remember why you're doing what you're doing. It may be difficult. It may seem impossible. The moment that you discover why you're here, spend the rest of your life Execute. There are going to be times when you give everything you have, and everything that you have is not enough. Push through the pain, push through the anguish, push through the brokenness. Do not stop. It's the no quit mentality. Wherever you are now is not where you're going to end up. You are special, and you've been designed to change the world. Thank you, Lord, for giving me one more day, one more opportunity, one more meal, one more outfit on my back. Thank you for that one opportunity. If you haven't been able to get up, something inside of you has to snap. You've been insecure long enough. You've been unfit long enough. You've been unqualified long enough. You've been overlooked long enough. You've been undervalued long enough. You've been in this cave. You've been in this deep, dark prison of obscurity and uncertainty and doubt and fear. This is the day you come out of your tomb. In this very moment, you have an opportunity. Seize the opportunity. I'm talking to that person that keeps saying, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to make more money. I'm going to learn a new skill. I'm going to make bigger connections. I'm going to invest in myself. And day after day, you fail. I know you don't feel up to the task. I know you've got some doubt and you've got some fear and you've got some uncertainty and you hate the image that you see in the mirror and you hate the way your money looks and your relationships look and people that you've given your all to keep walking out on you. I know you feel stuck in reverse. I know you feel like you're underpaid and undervalued and overlooked, but listen, get up! This is the day that everything changes. You've got to do what is required in order to manifest. Get up and get after it. So take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. It's a new day. Control all the me. Control yourself. Alter your thinking. And delete negativity. Period. What are you made of? What is your DNA? What is your mentality? What are the skill sets? Come on, start to write down the vision. Believe that this is the first day of the best days of your life. Get up and get after it. You are here by design. You are listening to this talk by design.
Every day, every single day is a new beginning. And every decision you make is either bringing you to your destiny or taking you from your destiny. And some of you, you got to take everything you have on the inside and claw your way back to right standing. Sometimes you got to dig deep inside. I'm talking to that person that keeps failing the mission. Appreciate what has happened. Appreciate the people that walked out on you. Appreciate the people that hurt you. Appreciate the people that overlooked you. The people that slept on you. Appreciate it. I want you to get this mentality in your head. Every day, you pay. You pay. You may get two hours of sleep in seven days so that you can accomplish what it is that you've been destined to accomplish. Everything you need to get to this next level is inside of you. There's always another level. Seize the opportunity. And every day, every single day, gives you that new opportunity. So if you don't have a to-do list, get a to-do list. If you haven't planned the day, start planning your day the night before. If you don't have a morning routine, get a morning routine. Start your morning with prayer and meditation. If you're not tracking your progress, start tracking your progress. If you don't have accountability partners, you need to get accountability partners. If you have not identified the roadblocks, if you have not identified the kryptonite, if you have not identified the hurdles, what has hindered your forward progress, identify those things. This is your day! Get up and get after it! Man, let's go! It's time! You got one life to live. It's time to get it done. I don't know who you are, where you're from, but get it done. It's time to listen. It's time to focus. What haven't you been able to accomplish? What has stopped you? What has haunted you? Why are you losing sleep over it? All roads lead back to what you're focusing on and who you're listening to. Energy flows where focus goes. So what are you focused on? If you haven't been able to get it done, today marks the first day of the best days of your life. So where focus goes, energy flows. I'm talking to you. If you're going to get it done, I need you to listen and focus. At all costs, protect your peace. If you're going to get it done, you got to let some things go. Stop waiting to feel like it. Stop waiting until you see it. Stop waiting for somebody to come and save you. Nobody's coming to rescue you. The problem with many of you is that you're focused on your fears. You're focused on the risk more than you are the reward. The prize goes to the hardest worker in the room. The question is, how bad do you want this? The problem with many of you is that you're not tired enough. You're focused on the pain of the process more than you are the glory on the other side. You're listening to the wrong people. You're listening to the wrong voices. It's time to pull that energy from fear. Pull that energy away from doubt. How bad do you want this? If you can hear my voice, I'm just wondering if you are bold enough, if you are daring enough, if your faith is outrageous enough to take a chance on yourself. It's time to manifest. It's time to get it done. Fight, fight, fight for your future. 
It may hurt, but get it done. With tears in your eyes, get it done. If nobody believes in you, get it done. If the person you love most walks out on you, get it done. If your children don't believe in you, get it done. If your spouse don't believe in you, get it done. It's always impossible until it's done. So get it done. So many of us want so many different things. And our life is filled with entertainment and recreation and people that we have not appraised. Have you appraised your connections? Have you done a scrupulous evaluation of everyone in your life? Are they assets or are they liabilities? Yes, you want the future, but what's your plan? And then the moment that you create the plan and you've ironed out all the kinks and you're crystal clear and you've got this plan, you've got this aim, this target, then you gotta stay committed. With tears in your eyes, you gotta be committed when your brain is hurting. You gotta be committed when you haven't gotten sleep in a few days. You gotta be committed. You gotta plow through that depression, that heaviness, that weariness and you gotta cling to the joy of the thought of the future that if you finish this course, then there is a reward at the end of this pain. You may feel as though you are not able to breathe now. You may be inundated with responsibility and it seems as though there is no way out of this. You have to be grateful for the ground that you've gained and guard the ground that you've gained. Celebrate the small wins. If we keep looking at the big picture, if we keep looking at the end game, if that's all we fix our eyes on, then we'll get off kilter. We'll lose our footing and we'll walk around discouraged because you're not going to just wake up in one day and fulfill destiny. It's the process that's perfecting us. It's the ins and the outs and the nuances. It's the song and the dance between destiny and the journey and the process and the promise. And we've got to learn how to execute the day. Give us this day. We've got to learn how to execute the day that you conquer the day. I'm not where I'm supposed to be, but I'm not where I used to be. And so we've got to celebrate the small wins, those mental wins, those emotional wins, those relational wins, those financial wins, those spiritual wins. We've got, we've got to celebrate, celebrate. And then we've got to be kind, not only to others throughout our process, but we've got to be kind to ourselves. The problem with many of us is that we're not kind to ourselves. Be kind to yourself. You can be assertive, you can be direct, you can be firm, but you can have a little empathy and a little kindness, not only on others, but on yourself. Because the truth of the matter is, you are not going to always feel like doing what you were designed to do, okay? And so we've got to condition ourselves for the stretch. With gratitude, we're going to need that coupled with patience. The future takes time to manifest. The future takes time because you are beautifully equipped to get the results you are currently getting and there are some bigger results that you are after and in order to get those results, in order to manifest that very specific future, you're going to have to acquire a different set of skills, a different work mentality. It's going to require you to become a different version of yourself. Elevation is all over you. Okay, next, you got to seize the opportunity. There are so many opportunities for you to grow, so many opportunities for you to learn, so many opportunities for you to share, for you to give, for you to understand, for you to think, for you to be quiet, for you to speak. And you've got to know when to do, what to do, why to do. This is the paradigm of the future. The future has a specific paradigm that you have to execute. You have to walk in this. You're going to have to move from limited beliefs and you're going to have to move into limitless believing. You have to know your boundaries, establish your guardrails. You got to know your weaknesses and your strengths. Do not stop. It's the no quit mentality. If you are alive, you have another opportunity to begin again. 
a new opportunity. Get up and get after it. It's not about scrolling through social media and looking at people on vacations and looking at the people that are projecting the highlights of their life. It's not about that. It's about can you do better than you did yesterday? If you're walking through or walked out of or survived the worst trauma and pain of your life, believe that this is the first day of the best days of your life. Get up, get up, wake up. There's always another level. And it's not about beating the man or woman that's standing in the room with you. It's about beating the man and the woman that's in the mirror. Can you do better than you? Can you do better than you did yesterday? That's all I want to ask you. Can you do better? You may be tired. You may be broken. You may be hurting. People may have betrayed you, lied on you, left you, but you refuse to give up. There are going to be days when you are not going to feel like waking up. You are not going to feel like getting out of the bed. You are tired of yourself. You are tired of looking at the face in the mirror that you see. You are tired of maybe the way that your body looks, of the money that you have, or the people that you are connected to. There are going to be days when you are going to be tired of being you. And you got two options. You can give up or get up. This is the day that everything changes. Get up! Rise and grow! Forget waking up at 2 o'clock in the morning. You may have to lose sleep for a week so that you can accomplish what it is that you've been destined to accomplish. What you were born to contribute to humanity. And so I know it hurts. And I know it's expensive. Everything you need to get to this next level is inside of you. But if you don't count up the cost of what it's going to take, and if you are not willing to pay that price, you cannot have your future. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. Just get in a mirror and start speaking life over yourself. You're making progress. This needs you to be 1% better than you were yesterday. Get up. You got a day to conquer. Rise and grind, baby. Let's go.